In this video, I want to show you how you can manage your activity using Address 2. Activity meaning specifically your tasks and your history. Let's start with history. This is probably one of the hardest behaviors for people to learn uh, when they start with a new uh, CRM, or if you've, especially if you've never used a CRM before. And that is simply just taking notes. It's, it's remembering to track what you did. Um, so to give you an example, if I had a meeting with Nick Carter, I can just simply type in his name, and right from the search screen, I can record that information of what I did with him. The uh, history activity icon is this one over here. It's a yellow, it looks like a post-it note being thumbtacked to a wall. That's our universal icon for recording activity or recording a history entry. Anywhere you see that is where you can record actions. If I click it, it gives me a form that I can date stamp. So I can tell when I did it. What I did, we have a drop down here. It's a pretty exhaustive list of different types of things that you can do with a customer. So let's say I called them. And then I'm going to describe what happened on the call. Now this text here is searchable. So I'm going to say I called and they said not interested this month. Okay. So whatever key information I want, I just type in here. This process is, is very quick and easy. As soon as you get used to this, you can type in just some basic high-level notes to remind yourself of what you may have talked to someone about. If you need uh, exhaustive text, if you want to copy and paste the transcript of some long document, you can click on More Detail and you're given this big, long, um, unlimited text field that you can paste into. And the next thing that I want to show you, though, is to set a follow-up task. If you've got the professional edition or higher, you have the ability to remind yourself to do things in the future. So what I'm going to do is, at the same time I schedule this call where I said that they weren't interested now, I'm going to set myself a follow-up task by checking that box. And I want to follow up in 30 days. And my next action is going to be to call back and see if this is a better month. That makes sense, right? They weren't interested this month, but I'm going to call them next month. When I hit submit, two things are going to happen simultaneously. Number one, it's going to record a history entry on this account that will show up in the uh, activity history report. It'll be a new date stamped history entry saying that I did this action. Number two, it's going to assign a task to me to follow up in another 30 days. So, where do I see that history? How do I use those tasks? Well, if I go view the account, I will see all the history at the bottom of the account for this account. I'll see the user that did it, who they talked to, and what they talked about. More importantly, if you're a manager, you can click on View Recent History under the History Toolbar. This will show you your own history as a report. These are my last seven days everything that I did. Let's say I'm trying to hit a goal of 50 activities or 100 activities. It'll show me that. If I want to modify this report, so 718 to 725 isn't exactly the date range I want, or I want to see a report of a different user, like I said, if you're a sales manager, you go to the Reports Admin, which you can also find by clicking on Admin and clicking under Activity Report next to User Manager. Both gets you to the exact same form where I can change my date range, I can pick which user I want to see the activity history for, and I can view that report to see what this user has been up to in the given date range. Now, how does this all translate into tasks? Well, as I showed you a minute ago, I scheduled a follow-up task for myself on the heels of that history entry, and those are going to appear on my task dashboard, which I find by clicking on tasks at the top. This will show me all of the tasks that I have due to myself. Of course, if I want to see the tasks that are pertaining to any one account, I find that in the account view in the task box. If we were to simply assign a task, if I searched for Nick Carter and I did not want to record a history entry, I only wanted to assign a task to remind myself to do something in a few days. Then I can click on the, the uh, icon that's the, it looks like a clipboard with items on it clipboard with a list attached to it. That's our universal icon for adding a task. We can assign the due date. If you're using a Google Calendar, you can designate a time for the task, which will then turn this into an appointment in your calendar. If it doesn't have a specified time, it cannot be called an appointment in your calendar. Now here we have a little bit more control. I can assign this to myself, my own username, 
or I can assign this task to other users in the company if I wanted Chad to take this next action. I can describe what type of action it is and then give Chad some commands on what he needs to do. This will put the task on Chad's dashboard. Now how do I keep track of that? Well, when I go to my task dashboard, of course this shows me my activities, my tasks. But if I want to keep track of what's going on, tasks assigned to all users except for me, assigned by me, this will change the report to show me all tasks that are assigned to anyone else that I created. And I want to find all the incomplete tasks due in the next week, so due by August 1st. I apply that filter, and wow, there are a lot of incomplete tasks that I've assigned to other people. This is how you can use that for accountability. Now you might wonder, well, how do I get reminded to do these tasks when they are due? Well, a couple of things. For starters, every time you log in on your dashboard, you see a list of your tasks. But that still requires that you log into Address2 just to find out what you're doing. That's why we've created Addy. And one of the things that Addy does is she emails you every morning at 2 a.m., so the email's in your inbox by the time you reach your office, all the list of the things that you have due that day. So every day I get reminded to do something. By the way, if I don't finish it, the next day they turn red, they stay on the list, and she keeps bugging me. She doesn't let it go. She says, these are past due, and now you've got this one due today. And to make this as fast as possible, these are hyperlinks that will automatically log you in and put you at the account to which this, this uh, task refers. So if I click on Kevin Weber's name, I'll be logged into address two on Kevin Weber's account, ready to give him a call and complete the task.